I started seeing pediatric patients a few years after I began practicing when I realized that I had the skills to do it. Once I realized that it wasn't difficult to do and that there was such a strong need for it, I began incorporating pediatrics into my practice. But as my practice grew and I had patients that had children of their own and I had children of my own, I saw that these children needed to be seen and not many adults or parents knew that they were supposed to be bringing their kids in at six months, three years, and six years old. A pediatric exam is actually much faster than an adult exam, so it takes actually less time because you're not waiting for responses from the child as much as you are from an adult. The way that we do exams on pediatric, especially the three to five year old population, is to have them read the eye chart, but also to make sure that we're using pictures instead of words or letters. You did it! We'll check their acuities, We'll do retinoscopy and um, check their entrance testing like we would on any adult. We'll check their pupils and their EOMs. And once we know those things are normal, we'll get them dilated. As soon as we put our cyclopenylate in, we wait about 10 or 15 minutes, and then we're gonna do retinoscopy or an auto refraction again. Having the dry retinoscopy and the wet retinoscopy really gives the provider enough knowledge to write a prescription. It just takes a little bit of patience and trust in your skills. The child is only as nervous as the parent is. Very often, the thing that is most difficult is getting the dilating drops in their eyes. But I warn the parent ahead of time, if they're not nervous, the child won't be nervous. For sure, you have to really be upbeat, but you have to read the child. There's some that are very scared, so if you come in and are overzealous and very excited and they're very standoffish, so you have to match your personality to the child's personality, and most importantly, just relax and have fun. If you're enjoying yourself, they're going to enjoy themselves. What's important to remember when you're working with pediatric patients is that you don't have to get all the information or exact information on one day. You can always bring the patient back on a different day if they weren't able to be dilated or if they were acting up. The most important thing on that first visit is to get them comfortable with you in your office so that they will be comfortable coming back in the future. When a parent sees that I'm interested in their child and their entire family, they keep coming back. We have tons of patients that have moved you know, 20 miles away, but they keep coming back because we've created that relationship with their whole family.